I haven't really been vlogging much because I've been living in the moment. But I will try to start vlogging from this point on. I can't promise that this will be consistent, but if you just started following me, hello, welcome to my channel. I don't really know what this is. This is just me recording myself and things and what? Shut the up now. Oh. Do y'all want to see come here, come one of the right cutest now. things ever? I think I It's pretty crazy actually to think about the fact that if I didn't have products like Premiere Pro and After Effects and Photoshop and all that stuff, like I wouldn't really be able to do what I do. I find it really exciting that being a digital artist or being the type of photographer or filmmaker that I wanna be is becoming more accessible for people. A lot of Adobe products are expensive um, and even with like student discounts and stuff um, it's still like too much money for a lot of people um, but I mean there are ways around that like I remember the first time I got Photoshop I was probably in like the fifth or sixth grade and I lived in Guatemala and I went to one of those like pirate stores where they have like DVDs of movies that haven't even come out yet and I went in there and I got Photoshop if I wanted to learn all the things I'm trying to learn on After Effects 30 years ago I would have to have access to half a million dollars worth of equipment and I don't know how a poor brown girl would even have access to that type of stuff but I think digital art is something that's still incredibly stigmatized especially in the fine art world it's not really seen as something that's as high as like and when I mean high, I mean like fine, right? Fine. Um, as like painting or sculpture or something like that. But I definitely think that artists have been changing that and will continue to change that. And I would like to help change that because I personally get so pissed when people talk shit about digital art or like Photoshop. I can definitely talk about this more if this is something that you guys are interested in because I definitely have a lot of opinions about digital art. So, today we are going to be doing a little Q&A! With a little jazz asked, how do you get such amazing sound quality on your videos? Thank you. So I try to use microphones as much as I possibly can. I try to make sure that all my sound levels are equal when I'm editing. I'll use like sounds that I find or I'll record stuff. Developing your own style with sound is incredibly important, to me at least. Using a good mic and treating your sound like you would other aspects of your film will definitely make your sound sound a lot better. My Min Pala said, do a tutorial on how you do your makeup and get ready for your day and how you choose your outfits. 
something like that but with your pizzazz um yeah i'm definitely interested in doing that for y'all so yeah for everywhere asked what tv shows do you watch i'm currently not watching any good tv shows because i go through tv shows in 10 minutes i really like master of none jane the virgin Hey Arnold, Curse the Cowardly Dog. I love Cosmos so much with Neil. It's a top quality show. Susie Edwardson asked, What would your 10 year old self think of you now? So I think my first 10 year old self's reaction would be of disgust, just because. I would not be hairless on every square inch of my body like a naked mola. And I do like to feel like a smooth dolphin sometimes, but by that age, I was shaving my arms. Like I was just, because I got made fun of. So um, I was just really insecure. And I think I would just be like shocked that I didn't really believe in doing things for other people's pleasures, but doing things for my own pleasure. When I was 10 years old, my life was very turbulent, and so I think I'd be happy for me. I think I would be happy to know that I live a much more peaceful life, that I'm finishing college, that I'm so confident in myself because, like I said, I was very, very insecure when I was 10 years old. I never thought I would be the person that I am today. So. I think she would think I was dope as hell. Can I ask you for advice? I'm 16 and live in a Christian family, and I kind of feel oppressed because men in my family, my brother and my dad, tell me how I should dress. Not showing any skin, like for instance saying that even jeans are bad because it shows the shape of my body. What should I listen to? What should I be against? I can't live like this anymore. I want to live my life. I do believe in God, by the way, but for me, religion isn't about the outside, but in the inside. And makeup is a big no for them. First of all, I'm really sorry that you're going through that, dear. No one should have to go through that. I mean, I can't really tell you what to do. When I was a young preteen teenager, my mom didn't let me wear makeup, but I was incredibly rebellious, so... I just I would just wear makeup and then she just had to deal with it. Um, not telling you to do that. My advice to you is do everything you possibly can to get out of that environment as quick as you can. Um, when you're 18, maybe try to move out or as soon as you can. It sounds like you already understand that what you're going through isn't really fair to you. So as far as who you should listen to, listen to yourself. As a woman, you're definitely gonna meet more people like them. You're gonna meet men and women who objectify you and sexualize your body. Um, yeah, it sucks. I'm sorry that you're going through this. You just gotta stay strong. And I promise you that the day will come when you'll be a free, independent woman that does whatever she pleases. Tessa Rain asked, where do you get your style inspiration? So I'm really inspired by my younger self. I wore a lot of bright colors and patterns and stuff like that. I'm also inspired by Selena and definitely Jimi Hendrix. A dose of Kenzie asked, what is your ethnicity? How long ago did you start thrifting? And is all your clothes from a thrift store or do you have clothes from somewhere else? I'm Guatemalan. I started thrifting when I was a little, little, little kid, um, probably out of necessity. The Majority of my closet is thrifted. Um, everything I'm wearing right now is thrifted except for my underwear. I do occasionally buy things from small businesses that I want to support online. I think the last thing I bought at a store was a couple of pieces from American Apparel like two years ago. So I really don't shop at stores at all. Pretty much thrift or flea markets, um, that type of thing. Una Dos Zoe asked, what is a space slash place that makes you feel full and bright? Um, my bed. Just nature, really, just being surrounded by nature makes me feel 
like I'm not alone. It makes me feel like I'm a part of something bigger. I don't feel as stuck in my mind. A few years ago, I went on a road trip with my friend Kyle and we went to the Redwoods and I had never been to the Redwoods before. When I first saw the trees, I literally started crying because I was so taken aback by the beauty. I was so filled with light um, and it was just a beautiful foggy misty day but it was still super sunny so there were just these beautiful holy like rays of light radiating through these enormous trees like oh it was so beautiful and it was incredibly emotional for me i felt so grateful for being a part of this planet and we are so so lucky to live in such a beautiful beautiful rock <coughs> why are you not super popular on youtube right now that is a good question so why don't y'all help me out spread the word Tell your dog, tell your cat, tell your mom, tell your sis, tell your friends, tell your oncologist to subscribe to my channel. I'm gonna keep making these Q and A. So if you have any questions, just comment them down below. Thank you so much for watching my video. I hope y'all enjoyed it. Um, thank you so much for all the warm and positive, radiant love that y'all sent to me. I really, really appreciate it. I hope you have a beautiful day. I'll see you next time. Goodbye. Don't give a fuck. Don't give a fuck. Don't give a fuck. Just don't give a fuck. Just.